okay guys welcome to the video so quickly this is the fine light react project that you can see you have this rc folder and everything so this will be almost your react project with all the things that i've set up my one is a sample project with the simple uh, uh, application that i created to uh, teach context so the first thing you have to do is you have to create an web.config file inside inside your root directory so not in this rc not in the public inside your main folder here you can see web.config file after that what you have to do is you have to copy paste the given web.config file in the tutorial so just copy paste it this basically handles the routing and everything you can just go through it so you don't have to do any modification in this tutorial in here so this redirects and everything uh, is happening inside this file so after that what you have to do is we have to build the project so by run, running npm run build you can build the project so this simplifies a single a javascript file to host so here you can see the project is running and the npm run build command is running so it's completed in few seconds or based on your size of the project it may be uh, get a long time as well so we have to wait until our project is built so it automatically creates a build folder and do everything need create a single package to upload into your uh, web service web host so it's done so after that we have to install this uh, what's called this azure uh, app service so like you can search in the uh, plugins like azure app service and not the azure account one this Azure app service so you have to install it first so I have already installed it here as you can see uh, you have to install it and if you don't have an Azure account uh, please make sure you create an Azure account so I will add a link in the description so it, you can simply uh, create an Azure account and uh, create an Azure app service from here after creating an Azure account so here what you have to do is in here you can see uh, my previous builds if you click on this yes i have uh, hosted to uh, react applications that one also click on that button and after that give a unique name task list the name that i am giving then after that you can select the, your node version so i'm going with a uh, node 14 lts with this project and yes here it appears like and select free version so you can host it at no cost as a free version here so you can select it and you have to wait until this uh, as you can see here it gives an error like website with a given name to do list is already exist so I don't know why this error appears in this stage like previously it should appear while we give the name right so I don't know so let's do those previous tasks again like create on the add button on the SO subscription and let's see to do the previous steps again I'm clicking on the add new and I'll give another name and check so task list context and let's see how it's going this time I'm uh, selecting not for the LTS and the free version as usual and let's see how this goes uh, at this stage so it's going with the building process as usual the previous error is a kind of weird like it should come at the uh, face where we give the name right so at that stage they should say that this name is already taken not in the finalizing section so I gave another name and tried so let's see how it's going now close that previous error button yes so now that build is happening and uh, we are ready to deploy so what you have to do is you have to uh, click deploy and this that will be deployed on this URL so I copied it as well 
and here you have to give the location that we are going to uh, create our deploy application so I selected the default location where I built the app and now uh, like uh, I can don't show this message again and now it's deploying so it's currently deploying our build to that uh, Azure app service environment so this really uh, take some time so even though this is a small application very small application it took around two three four minutes uh, I don't know if it's a very huge application it may take like I don't know I haven't tested with huge applications yet like uh, it maybe take some time like 15 20 so uh, if you click on like this output window you can see uh, the progress in here as well yes you can see the deployment is successful and browse website to have a look at it you can see the website is hosted on the task list.context azure.net thank you very much guys see you in the next video